Hey beautiful people of the universe, my name is VK and you are watching Phenomenal Creations. So guys, I hope you're doing just fine and today we are learning another very cool visual effects right on After Effects and today, specifically, we're gonna check how to protect your house from thugs, rapists and serial killers. Remember, you're not a serial killer if you don't have more than 5 kills. So, let's check out this sketch I made to demonstrate this upcoming effect. Ah, now I get to try my new security system. So guys, welcome back to After Effects. So what I will be showing you guys is how to make this uh, pretty cool security camera look and how to make the, the greenish uh, tint, how to make the time code, how to make it like technically unsharp but not blurred and how to make this lights pretty cool and everything. So there's this is a pretty simple tutorial, there's some um, quite a few effects that we will be stacking on to each other. But, and this is my second time recording this, because the first time, like uh, an hour ago, I forgot to turn my microphone on. So, I, sh I hope this becomes a bit, tut uh, a bit shorter, because I know what I'm doing. <laughs> like I always do. <laughs> okay, whatever. So let's go ahead and check out, take our footage we want to use, and put it to a new count button right here here and if you want this I have this video file on you to you guys available to be downloaded as this project file so take it there you got it so you can train on my clip or have your own so what I want first to do is to create this kind of greenish the colorization um, to my clip and the best way to work it out is to first take the tint effect and the tint effect make your clip black and white and there's several ways to do this this is just the probably the simplest then let's try to colorize it so I will use the hue and saturation effect from the color correction panel but you can do color channels VC color vibrance there's several ways to colorize but I'll use this one now because it's super simple so then let's go into hue and saturation, click on this colorize box that will colorize everything you're seeing from the grayscale and this is why we made it black and white so without the black and white it looks super weird or it will affect it a bit but it doesn't matter but still so then you just move this colorize hue to something greenish somewhere right there and then just bump up the color by saturation so it looks fine to you and the and the cool thing with this that you can just anytime just go and change the color 
maybe something you read for like danger or anything it's super cool you can it's super versatile so now we got this then it's time for us to create those cool um panels or not the panels um these kind of lines which are just like make this more digital so now we have just colorized it and it looks super boring it's like just a colorization how do we do this let's first name this just main so we keep everything organized like we used to because we live in 2016 so let's keep things organized and let's go ahead and create a new solid and you can do this by hitting Control y or command y if you're mac or pc to create a new solid or you can hell go and right click new solid let's make it black because this is that which decides what what color those um lines are and let's just call this tech lines real simple like this and let's search from effects and presets something called venetian blinds you probably haven't maybe you haven't heard of it what it basically does is create these kind of flaps if you turn on the transition completion these kind of flaps uh, of that layer so um, some pretty cool stripes there and you can use the width to make the uh, to increase the width and of course you have the feather if you want to feather them probably you gotta have to have it bigger to make the feather work a bit better but you know it's there and let's make it pretty thin let's pull it down to something like 20 now 14 is pretty good and let's use the direction to change it to 90 degrees so they are full horizontal and you can do this anyway like any direction but I think the 90 degrees works the best then after that let's go ahead and change the mode the, um, the screen mode if you're not seeing this you can just click one of these buttons if you have this you can just hit the toggle switches to get to the, the mode or then just click some of these buttons right here to apply some more settings here so now we have the mode and let's turn it back to um, let's turn to overlay it makes it a bit more transparent and gives some nice contrast look now let's take down the opacity to something like 30 that looks pretty good okay I'm happy with that so let me look, take this a bit more here right so now when we got this now let's say you want to animate this if you want to give it a certain look you want to animate these lines to go from up to down to so have like this old TV effect how do you do that because if you position um, I'm just using the arrow keys so if I'm positioning them uh, the comp or the layer you know it ends here and that's uh, fully expectable because you know the comp layer ends there how do we fix that how do we get it to extend without like stretching it out and changing the look um, you can use the effects and presets an effect called motion tile it's a pretty interesting effect you know it what it basically does it, it repeats that layer several times um, in, um, in a valley you put there so let's say you uh, we don't need to mirror the edges because it's a constant pattern so let's just, let's change the output height to something like 300 and you can see it start repeating it a few times there so now you can for example just animate it go from up to down and then you get your old TV look uh, if that's what you're searching okay so line that up and now when we got this I want um to find the edges a bit more let's make it more um, it's it's a style thing depends on how you like it like these kind of lines just just giving a bit more detail and giving some more like infrared power to your security camera so how do we do that pretty simple just go ahead and find and type in edge on your effects and presets and I have installed the Red Giant Universe uh, platform plugin, if you want to, what do you want to call them? And you know, it's free, part of. Uh, I'm using the free because if you install the free, you get a lot of free plugins, and you have to pay if you want some more uh, X like other one plugins. But if you install it, super, it's just free, 
and you can get some cool plugins here. You don't have to use this, I like to use this. So I take these sewable edges and drag it down to the main comp. And they, this was like making the whiteboard it finds the edges. You can use the find edges um, plugin also to make this if you don't want this red giant. And then just change the threshold to something higher so we don't have there it's not super clear but a small white border there and then let's make from add to overlay it makes it a bit more like it makes it green so got some cool peaking tracking there and after that we could go ahead and take an edge glow it just make the edges glow <laughs> uh, obviously and then just change the radius so they go just a bit and let's take the opacity probably down just a, just a touch so we're having a bit more a glowing effect there you don't have to use this totally optional okay so now when we got that we want it to be a bit more unsharp but not blurry because you know I was filming this with a DSLR and they usually have a sharper image than security cameras because they don't use DSLRs for security cameras obviously so I want uh, this more like this technical unsharpness here, but I don't want to blur it. I don't want to use a blur uh, preset effect because it would just make it blur and soft. I want it to be like cutting edge, but still like techy um, uh, unsharpness. How do we do this? Real simple. Let's go ahead and create a new adjustment layer and let's call it um, tech on and sharp like this and then let's go ahead and create um put on a effect called mosaic and what this is is basically if you have seen all these tv shows where a cop have his face blurred with this kind of boxy feel this is basically it so mosaic take it to the adjustment layer and it makes a lot of these boxes so it looks weird but it takes the color information from the comp behind you and here in the effect panel, you can control how many boxes you're seeing. So here we have a 10 by 10. So we're having basically 10 horizontal and 10 vertical. So we have 100 boxes here. And I want to kick it up to 300 times 300 to give this. So there's basically 300 boxes right there and 300 vertical and horizontal and everything there between. And this gives this pretty digital look. So... What we can also do is copy it and paste it to the tech lines right there. And we could increase this to something like this. And it will give the lines a bit more, um, a different kind of look. You don't have to use this. And then you can use sharp colors if you want some more, it to be more obvious. And click that off and like this. So what do we do next? We have a pretty, um, a lot of things right here. But what do we what do we do next? Okay, so let's create a vignette, a, a bit more darkening around the edges, just giving a bit more depth to our image. And there's a really simple way, and I'm gonna show you how to make a real simple vignette. Is basically create a new solid, Control Y or Command Y or your preferable way. I call this vignette, and then go ahead here and double click on this ellipse tool. So you can a select. Um, another tool, but select the ellipse tool, select it away, and double click on this icon. And that will create automatically, to your adjusting to your comp perfectly, an ellipse mask, or a rectangle mask, or a polygon mask, it doesn't matter. I just use this. So then we go for the mask properties here down in the timeline and change it to subtract. Basically, what it does, it takes the the mask and restricts it from the solid. So we got this kind of really harsh vignetting here. Then we hit F on our keyboard, like father, but feather, father feathering. And, and then just pump it up something around 400, could be a pretty good value. And then let's go ahead and change the mode to soft light. And then you can also, if you don't like the look, you can go ahead and change the opacity, hitting the T on your keyboard, like T-bone, and just adjusting how you want it. 68% is pretty cool. So now we have covered 
most of the things are there already, but there's one thing we need to do is this time code here. And how do we do that? Okay, it's actually not that hard. Um, what you do is you go ahead and create um adjustment layer and call it, for example, just time. And let's take a nice frame here and let's go to effects and presets and type in time code. There's um there's a plugin installed in After Effects that does just the thing we want, and drop it in on time, and then you can see a time code right there. And how to adjust the size? You can a scale up the uh, the comp itself if you want that, but that doesn't work because After Effects is trolling you, obviously. Okay, one hundred, yeah. And but just change the text size to something bigger. And then use this ball to position it or use the values or the cross uh, cross point there and so this is a working um, time code but there's one problem if you can see if we go to the beginning of the comp it's zero so it starts with the exact same time as our video and that's not what we want you see um, a security camera they're like rolling and recording for days so we can have a super like high value here, but how do we do that? So here in the time code in the time source, let's change the layer source to custom. And then let's go down to custom and we can see some few options here. Time units, long story short, if you have it on one, like the, the minimum volume, it's rising with one second at a time. And if you got more, it depends how much it get more frequent milliseconds, but it's still the one second timer, but you get more like of this milliseconds and such. And then the starting frame is what we, what we need and what we want. So if you increase it, you can see the time is increasing. But we want hours and days. How do we do that? Like fast. Simple. Put a super crazy value, something like 10,000 plus one zero and another and boom I got nine days 17 hours 7 minutes and 10 seconds no nine hours 17 minutes ah I don't care yeah so and then we got a crazy value right there so that's basically how you do if you was wondering here I got the date also that was just like putting a black solid and then writing the date with a matching font. I was like searching in a half an hour of font, which is look the same. And it got some weird Chinese name. I don't know. So that's that. So that's pretty much the effect. Hope you guys liked it. And if you were just wondering, how did I get it to my, um, to my monitor, uh, to my laptop screen? And then you can see the comp is moving and it looks super cool. So it's actually not that hard. Um, you can do like me, you can shoot your monitor um, with a tripod and then you just align the, this comp, you just overlay it on the, um, this layer and you just align it to your corners and put maybe some glow there so it glows out of the screen and then put some camera wiggle like this realistic camera motion in After Effects and if you don't know how to do that I have a tutorial dedicated for just that so check my channel I get one for you and or then you can have a moving shot with your hands and then just track the screen I keep in mind you have something on the screen to track so don't have a black monitor it could be an image of a tree or a track pattern it doesn't matter but something you can track that's pretty important or that makes your life easier and then the exact same thing so yeah, that was pretty much it guys. Hope you guys like this video and if you're feeling like being awesome Hit that like button just below this video and like if you liked it Dislike if you dislike it and don't forget to leave a comment with all your kinky questions and and Suggestions about what do you want to see next because you can be responsible of the next video tutorial so test your luck and put your suggestions down below um Nothing more, nothing less. My name is VK, over and out.